but we're in good times. This should be a workable situation, right? They shouldn't be complaining about anything. We shouldn't be complaining. We wouldn't even have a 21 convention if everything was fine, right? Something's wrong. And everybody feels it. Some people are scared to say what's wrong. You get divorced, you get your kid taken from you, the woman wants to pump hormones in your boy, you're the enemy. You're the person who's wrong. You're the person that's behind times. You're the caveman, you're the Neanderthal. What do you do? What's the situation here? Well, under this situation now, you are vulnerable. You are vulnerable to attacks. This is removing the father. These are strategic things that have been put in, put in place in order to subvert from within. I had a lady who was very fond of World War II. She was like a, she's in her 60s. You know, I think she's an undercover white supremacist, but she would always hire me for personal training when I was a trainer. She, but she wouldn't always say some things, and I'd be like, huh? Because she was on the side, like you could tell she was like on the side of Hitler. You'd be like, what? But she would tell me some things. She would say, who won World War II? And I said, obviously the Allies won. We're still here. She was like, no. She said, the communists won. And I'm like, what? She says, the communist won. How? Well, it's very apparent now. You can see it. Now, five years ago when she told me, I couldn't really see it. But it's very apparent now. The strategy is subvert from within. The strategy is long term, not bombs, not fighting, not tanks, not bullets. It is to subvert your culture so much to remove the protector infiltrate the education system over years, and they've done this at Columbia University from the beginning. They've done this, make you fight each other, race, gender, class, transgender, whatever it is, we fight each other, we're the enemy now, there's no more boogeyman, you're the boogeyman, you're the boogie woman. But they first have to remove the protector. Because if the father's there, then you're least likely to be indoctrinated. Your kid's least likely to be indoctrinated. Your wife's least like, unlikely to be indoctrinated. Why? Because she's nurturing, cooking, cleaning. She don't got time for that. You plucked her right before she got to the university. But the communists knew, and their teachers, the Marxists, are at the university. And that's who your wife is, who you marry. In my marriage, Will, which we're not going to talk about, this is in there. She either becomes a feminist or she... Re, the feminist is reborn in her, meaning whatever she uh, said she would never do, all of a sudden she's going to do. She's going to say, well, the kids are seven years old. I'm going back to work. Well, we can't yet. It's going to cost us too much money. What job are you going to get? She gets a retail job. It costs her more. It costs your family more for her to be at work than for her to be at home. And you're like, this ain't going to work. Well, she re she's a feminist reborn. Plus, she can do whatever she wants. Plus, she can drop you off at the family court window, her owner, and drop your ass off, and you'll be paying child support, and she'll have her retail job, and your kids will be raised by strangers to do what? The cycle of indoctrination. How much does public school cost? Everything. Everything you believe. Your protection, it costs you your kids' education. It costs you your kids' brain. It costs you your marriage. That free education costs most Americans everything. Because when you send them to school for free, all of a sudden they come shaking their asses and wearing a dress. All of a sudden, they're told that woman's equal from you. And the boy's fifth grade, he looking at that girl. She equal to me? She don't look equal to me. I start running right now, her ass is left in the dust. I start jumping, punching kicking. I start doing anything, just about anything right now. She can't keep up. Math, science, done. But she killing it in the behavior category, so they don't. Sally. <laughs> okay. But this is what they're told. And so your generation of boys are told not to, pro not to prosper, not to be ambitious. That no matter what she does, she gets paid the same as you. 
So this is kind of the stuff that's happening. But before they do that, they got to remove the father. And most kids are, we already showed you the stat, they're raised without the father who dare to protect them from that. You basically decompress them of the information. They return home from school, and if you have to send them to school, they return home. By the fact, you get no choice in school, by the way. You guys know that, right? They got to go to school. But if you have a job and she has a job, she has to go to public, they have to go to public school. Who tells them that they have to go to school? Government, Government right? Who is who? Y'all's owner. So you're not free. They, got, they tell you you got to go to school. All right. So they remove the father. They make it difficult for him. And then they silence the protectors. Now, this is a big one. Because what I'm saying right now, you know, even the most hardened red pill guy is like, whoo, this guy's a little hardcore. It's because you haven't heard men brave enough to say this stuff in public on camera and put his face out there. Well, I don't have a boss. I'm my own boss. I'm my own man. I don't got no wife to look at me. How dare you? I don't have any of that, so I can say what the hell I want to say. Matter of fact, more women like me, they like that shit. They like masculine men. They just don't like to compete with masculine men. Okay, But the only people that can stop me is the government. They are the only ones. They could just come in and shoot me down and be like, we solved that problem. Okay, But silence the protectors. You can't say women are this, and you can't say men are that, and you can't send us to this, and you can't do that, blah, blah, blah. Or we're going to get you fired from your job. I'm going to false accuse you or something. They have all the means to shut your ass up, and they do it. They do it. And so they silence you, even in your marriages, right? They have the alignment of the government because the government knows they own them. A hundred years ago, Men voted, outvoted women 100% to zero. Today, women outvote men 60% to 40%. Because you guys don't show up to the polls. So who does the government glad hand to? Now that that percentage is flipped, what have you noticed politicians doing more? Dictating because they know women are scared and weak men. So the people that when you grew up, you used to see them come out, dun, 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 the politicians come out, shaking hands, how are you, sir? How are you, young lady? They take a baby, kiss it. Do they do that anymore? They come out and say, y'all monkey asses, we'll stay six feet apart. You're gonna put this face condom on. Do not go to work unless you got the jab. They start telling you what the hell to do. They don't even do nothing. They got a president that got voted in. He didn't even campaign. He's just like, we didn't even sit over here. Okay? And guess what? The women, oh, he's such a good man. and He's so handsome. He looks nice. 60%, 40%. Then she starts saying, you know, I don't feel safe with that firearm in the house. Well, I'm not getting rid of my firearm, woman. She'll go to the government. Vote that shit out. No more firearms in the house. It's that simple. And so now they don't need you to protect, and then they can just silence you without telling you to even shut up. But this is not a reason to hate them. Who remembers the conversation? You might be old enough to remember, remember this. Boys can play with dolls. How long ago was that about? 15, 20? years ago, maybe, and the boy will play with a doll. You're a father, you rip it out of there. No, 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 no. Oh, oh, your wife will tell you, he can play with the doll. You got to catch up with the times. That was 20 years ago. What did you go to do? Now, there's a father in here that the woman wants to inject with hormones to change into a woman. That's how fast it turns changes on you because you shut up. Oh, honey, I guess, I guess he can play with that doll and your girl out there crossover dribbling. 
she tackling dudes on the football field. You'd be like, well, at least you'll be the best athlete in the family. And your boy dancing on TikTok. And you, you see what I mean? It escalates. The things that we're seeing in society, they'll test you with drip campaigns. 